So let's now talk about the propaganda war and the just obvious lies that are being told around the death of Jamal Khashoggi, a Washington Post journalist at the Saudi embassy in Istanbul, Turkey. If you thought that Kellyanne Conway or Sarah Huckabee Sanders or Stephen Miller or whoever were good at what I call shameless spin, I want to introduce you to Adele Al Jubair, who is a diplomat who's been the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs since 2015. He's only the second person not belonging to the House of Saud to hold the office. He was educated in the United States. He holds an honorary doctorate in humane letters from the University of North Texas, and he is an utter and total shill. Uh, he was interviewed on Fox News by Brett Bayer. Exclusive interview, huge news, amazing. We're finally gonna figure out what it is that happened to Jamal Khashoggi. I have only about a minute of video here, and we have to break it down into like three or four parts. We almost need to break it down line by line because this guy is such a blatant lying shill that if you don't look at it line by line, really crazy stuff will just slip by you, okay? Interview of the foreign minister a foreign affairs minister on Fox News. Let's go to clip number one. You're an authoritarian government. Um, you're saying that the crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, did not know about this at all, even though there are members of this 15 person team that are closely aligned with him. Well, Brett, uh, first of all, we're not an authoritarian government. We're a monarchy. <laughs> we have our checks and balances. We have our systems. We aren't an authoritarian government. We're a monarchy. That's right. There's no difference between Saudi Arabia and England. It's the exact same thing. It's just, it's just a monarchy, Pat. Why are, yeah. the, why are people being so critical? It's like, that, it's like us saying, we're not a show. We're a program. This it's is like, a pro. It's, these this are synonymous. Not, it's exactly right. It, it is these weird semantic distortions. And if, if you look at the definition of an authoritarian government, favoring or enforcing strict obedience to authority, they've got that. Um, the, uh, that authority coming at the expense of personal freedom, they've got that. Uh, autocratic systems of government and decision making, despotic and tyrannical, draconian, oppressive when it comes to all sorts of different groups of people. We're already in fantasy land just at this number one thing, but Brett Bayer, this guy's actually pretty good. He clearly has some pretty good media trading. Brett Bayer unable to sort of interrupt and interject, and he continues with the delusions. The individuals uh, who did this did this outside the scope of their authority. There obviously was a tremendous mistake made, and what compounded the mistake was the attempt to try to cover up. That is unacceptable in any government. These things unfortunately happen. First of all, it's not true that it's unacceptable in any government. Saudi Arabia has been doing this stuff for a while. It's acceptable in other gov governments. North Korea comes to mind. But the key line there is, these things unfortunately do happen. No, they don't. In most governments, these things don't happen. This is an attempt to normalize the, the kidnapping, torture, and dismemberment of journalists who write in favor of reforms don't always happen. You ought to watch out for the passive voice, too. These things happen. It doesn't you know, make you look into who is actually responsible for making it happen. An unfortunate event took place. Mistakes were made. Uh, let's go to the next clip, and it, it's just digging deeper and deeper and deeper. We want to make sure that those who are responsible are punished, and we want to make sure that we have procedures in place that prevent it from happening again. Our history as Saudi Arabia for the past 18 years, 80 plus years since the founding of the modern Saudi state, we have never engaged in such behavior, and we will never <laughs> engage in such behavior. This is an aberration, this is a mistake, this is a criminal act, and those responsible for it will be punished. He's acting like they need an investigation because they don't know what's going on. It's so confusing. It was a madhouse. We have no idea. And then he goes back to like version three or four of the story, which was some version of like, we have no idea who did anything. But of course, there's a picture of a guy from the Crown Prince's security detail. And he says, oh, that's nothing. You don't need to worry about that. To the original question, did the Crown Prince know anything about it if there were people closely tied to him involved in this operation? 
There weren't people closely tied to him who were involved in this operation. <laughs> there were pictures of some security officers who may have been part of his security detail from time to time, but this is normal. Security People who deal in, in security <laughs> details rotate among different officials, both domestic and foreign. So having somebody in a picture does not imply that they're close to, at all. If a regular Trump Secret Service agent were in a picture where someone had been tortured, killed and dismembered, which the government initially claimed to know nothing about and then gave five different stories regarding, would we believe that that's true? I don't think so. And then here's the cherry on top. Once again, the use of this uh, word rogue again. The conference has denied this. The conference is not aware of this. Even the senior leadership of our intelligence service was not aware of this. This was an operation that was a rogue operation. This was an operation where individuals uh, ended up exceeding the authorities and responsibilities they had. It was all rogue. Could have been anybody. And meanwhile, we found out this morning, thanks to CNN's reporting, that a body double was used that looked sort of like Khashoggi to create a fake surveillance trail. One p- person, and we're putting the picture up for our audience, you'll notice uh, the real Khashoggi on the left and this sort of fake Khashoggi on the right, a member of the 15-man team suspected in the death of Jamal Khashoggi dressed up in the clothes Khashoggi was wearing when he went to the embassy, uh, put on a fake beard, and then deliberately placed himself in front of security cameras. Pat, it's totally normal to show up to interrogations with a team that brings a bone saw, a body double and fake beards because a fight might break out where a 59 year old tries to fight 15 people and ends up taken apart. That body double, that looked pretty good, though. Pretty convincing. You just got to lower the frames per second on the surveillance footage. Yeah, he was. uh, I I believe that that was him for sure. This is a full on conspiracy, folks. I want to hear from you about it. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman. The show is on Twitter at David Pacman show. I am thrilled to tell you that today's episode is sponsored in part by Blinkist dot com slash Pacman. Blinkist is a really unique service for your phone, tablet and web browser, and it is incredibly useful for people like me who love books and learning but are busy. Blinkist takes the best and most popular nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minute audiobooks. I'm sure that if you're like me, you have a very long list of books that you've been meaning to read. You only have so many hours in the day, and that's why Blinkist is so amazing. They take the most important information, the themes, the insights from each book, and they distill it into a 15 minute audiobook that you can listen to in one sitting. I've listened to a ton of books on Blinkist. Our audience can get a seven day free trial by going to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, I put a link in the description. I have listened to Blinkist books about economics, about political science, about history, about science, so many interesting things. And after the free trial, if you like it, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for about five bucks a month. Go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. That's B-L-I-N-K-I-S-T dot com forward slash P-A-K-M-A-N. 